In this vlog, we're playing in our new, 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 biggest buy-in ever, $40,000 entry, mystery bounty, a Triton. We also play in a measly little 25K. Will we cash? Enjoy the vlog. So today is the 40K mystery bounty, the biggest event on our schedule. Day one, let's just bag, average, that's the goal. Phil Ivey's in. We met him last night at this party. It was mad awkward. I went up to him and did verbal diarrhea because Cage really wanted to meet him. So I was just like, hi. My wife is a really big fan. I'm one of the poker bloggers in the poker blogger movement and uh, he probably doesn't even know there's such thing as a poker blog. He was super cool, but it'd be so sick to get to play with him. Whoever I get to play with, it's fucking cool. I'd rather not play with somebody like Bonomo. I don't want to play with him. A few moments later. We have Bonomo on our right. We're gonna talk about mask stuff. We'll become friends by the end of this level. No, that's ambitious. Two levels. So I tweeted and told Justin that we're gonna try to settle the political differences of the whole US by level four, but possible sarcasm. I'm not sure. He said, cool. I look forward to it. So I think we have an uphill battle ahead, guys. I don't know what else to say, but we'll update in a bit after we. I don't know what's first. I think first we'll do uh, why Justin refuses to stop saying gay and retard in all his tweets. He's not right. That's me, yeah. <laughs> First break, nothing. We have 183 off 200k starting stack, like 150 bigs, it'll be 90 bigs. I paid off Fedor on like a block bet river, like old baby bitch pots, really nothing to tell anything about. How are you doing, Chris? No media, only breakfast. Oh my God, I didn't even realize. 36, good luck. All right, so we got moved tables away from Bonomo and I were gonna solve American politics. He wasn't really on board. America's doomed again. We got, we got switched tables, so GG America. And we have like a round starting stack. We're fine, we're doing fine. All right, so we tried to cure America with the number two on the all-time money list. Earlier it didn't work. Now we have number one here. A little bit different styles. Going to break. At 1K, 2,500. It's like 170K effective. Bring Kenny on the button, opens 6K. We have queen nine off. No heart in the big blind we call. Flop is queen, four, three. Two hearts, one whatever. Check, he bets some fucking amount. Maybe 8K that we call. Turn is a three. Check, he bets 21K. Maybe like 60% pot. Uh, we call again and the river's a queen and we uh, check and he checks back and we win. Under the gun plus one opens to 7K at three at 1500, 3K, 3K. We call with 10, six of hearts in the big blind. Flop comes, nine, eight, five. Rainbow, no hearts. So we have a gut shot to the seven. We check, prepared to possibly check raise, but he checks back. Turn comes, queen of clubs. We bet uh, 11K. He calls and the river comes, ace of spades, and we bet 29K and he folds. And those are really the only two hands. So we have more than starting stack, 208K, coming back to, I guess, 4K big blind. Goal is just bag and average stack, so let's just fucking keep ourselves in a position to win. But much less crazy day. This is cute Katie on dinner break doing her Monaco life. We for free when we're playing. A lot of these poker players are buying food that tells me they're bad at money management. You've been acting very poor. We're in Monte Carlo, it's expensive. Stu. I know I haven't been there in a long time, but I promise to be an obnoxious New Yorker. If I can make it to feature table, I promise to not lose the degen excitement. I'll honor you if you if it's in your will to bless me with a good run. I know it's been a while, and I know I don't call you for certain things, and I haven't texted you back. Please, Mr. Runger, I need you now. I'm yet again in the biggest spot I've ever been in. 50 bigs, 35 minute levels. So pretty soon we'll be in flipping time. A lot more all-ins pre, and we know how to do that. Oh, I'm getting nervous again. What was that? The last two levels is crazy. I'll tell you about it in a second. All right, so we came back from a uh, break with, with like starting stack. We opened uh, Jack 10 suited from the hijack. Both blinds call, but comes Jack Jack Deuce. Check, check, we decide to be a Ritter sneaky. We check back. Turn comes nine of clubs, bringing a straight draw, backdoor flush draw. Small blind leads out 12K. The big blind, an old French guy calls. And now I'm like, yo, there's draws out there. I can get value from worse jacks. I think it's a good spot to raise. I just didn't know how much. I raised to 38K. Both players end up calling. Then the river was just a brick. Check, check, and it's on us. How much do we want to bet? We bet 51K, I believe. Small blind folds and the, the older gentleman calls with jack seven, our kicker plays, let's go big pot. Then we have a hand where we have pocket kings. At 2K, 4K, we open 8,500. We're heads up against the big blind. It was a nine high flop, nine high, nine, like nine, four, two. It was check, check. And the turn is a queen, he bets, just call. And the river is a king, he checks and we bet big, like 52K and he tank pays. We were trying to balance our breathing. Anyway, we got paid again, sick. 
We're up to 400k at this point. Then we play some other stupid hands. Oh my God, we called off a bluff blind versus blind. It was so sick. I don't even remember the hand history, but we called with king 10 high on, on like a ace jack nine, six, eight board where we limped small, bet flop, he called, turn check, check, river check, he bet, we called, but we didn't get to show it because he just mucked. So we're just gonna muck. Then things are going great. We're confident. We win that hand. We're, we're ready right after the blind versus blind hand. It goes open. That's been your stat jams his 20 something bigs. And we look down at ace king off. We put it in. We're gonna flip for one third of our stack against Espen. Go to the footage. Big flip against Espen. Oh. Two ace king. You're dead. You lose. But we can afford it. Now we're back. I don't know how much longer we play for, but we're back in a little bit. Feeling good. That was, I don't know if those were good. One level later, we have 280K at 4K, 8K. We have 35 big blinds. It folds to us on the button. We raise with ace jack offsuit. Small blind folds. The big blind goes all in. He has this covered by a little bit, but we're at Triton. So if he is jamming correctly and we have to assume he is in a 40K, this is a clear call. We're not excited, but maybe we have him crushed. We make the call. He has pocket threes. Let's win probably in the top three biggest flips of our life as far as equity. Look for our life. At least I'm gonna cheer if I win, just so you all know. Just be, be ready. GG. <laughs> ready to die. That feels fucking whack, man. Feels fucking whack. What's up, man? Feels like shit. We get to play one more, but still. Disappointing as fuck, you know? Yeah, I guess we're playing a Uno tournament for a bit. Maybe we'll get our first cash. Uno. Gentlemen, Ryan has one card remaining. Booyah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's so That's so sick. Ryan DePaulo is the newest Triton champion, everybody. Yes, thank you. GG, off GG. the game, guys. So we won. You know, we ran the table with them. We just killed it. We just won. Good thing we left room in our luggage for it. But anyway, tomorrow we, we play poker again. Today we go explore a town. Okay, so here we are with Katie. We're trying to go to uh, somewhere else. This is how I know we're getting close to the train because it smells like the subway. It smells like bumpy. This is the train station. And of course, they just have free football. Katie's just wandering off, doesn't know where we're going, and she's just off to the races. Another casino. They have machine esu and Jew public awareness plaques describing the rules of rugby. Look at the poop ball. <laughs> Dogs of the block, let's go. This is the birthplace of parkour. Just the easy way to navigate this crazy, crazy town. I've spoiled you guys, I'm not gonna do any here. Just a little bit, watch this. That was so sick. Do you see that? Katie and I were just hanging out in France, right? In Menton, and we were like, you know what? Let's, let's do Italy for dinner. And now we're on the train going to Italy. Just like that, we're in an Italian town. We're so happy to be in Italy. I feel at home. Grazia. Bro, I just got a whole block of prosciutto and a block of cheese for 10 euros. This is a train back to France. We just train through the south of France, Katie and I, these days. Play 25K tomorrow, you know, just like... It's, I felt awkward with the train stop. That's the sketchiest ride. I did not know they had that in countries like this. Oh my God, they're just gambling. I love the carnival scene. I love everything about it. Oh, Mickey Parkours! Oh, Mickey Parkours! <laughs> Alright, so today's the last event. 25k, GG Millions. It's like the best structure, actually, that we've played, and it'll be a big field, so it'll be fun. But I hope we do well. Anyway, I'll see you guys over there. We're in the elevator, and then just like legends walk in. We got Chidwick just wandering in. This is what it's like here, trying to just legend here, legend there. As I think I'm not nervous, and then I'm like, oh fuck, he's on the way to the same tournament as me. RIP. Anyway, that's it. Thank you. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you too. I mean, no, no, not you too. We have Nacho and Anna here. Anna just exploiting me like the fish she knows I am. I just run good against you. <laughs> We're fucking fine, okay? All right? All right? It's okay. It's okay. We're okay. <laughs> Still a lot of bigs. Okay, so we're on the first break and that shit was crazy already. I wonder why there's no photos here. Maybe because people are naked. Very first hand, we're off 166 bigs. Start with 250K, the blinds are 1K, 1500. 
Before we're even out of our seat comfortable, chips are out of the rack, we have Ace King off in the hijack. We open to 4K, cut off calls, and the button three bets to 26K. Folds back to us. I should probably four bet, but it just felt like out of position. I don't know, I just want to get comfortable. Can't be that bad to call. It's probably not good to go three ways to a flop. I don't know. We call, cut off also calls. We go three ways in the, in the three bet pot to a flop of uh, queen nine seven, two tone. We have a backdoor flush draw to the king. Checks around, turn is a two clubs or some shit. Check, bet, call, we fold. Okay, so first hand, right off the rip, lose like 26K over 250K. Very next hand, we open to um, king, queen off, no diamond, which will be relevant in a second. We open to 4K. The blinds are now up to 2K, I didn't realize, but uh, because she misposted. Anyway, folds to Anna Marquez, she defends. So we're heads up to a flop, 12K in the middle. It comes 10, 9, 6. So we have a gut shot to the nuts, two overs. She checks, we bet big, like 7,500 into the 12K. And she raises to 29K. We call with our overs, gut shots to the nuts, too soon to fold, but it's strong, her check raising. Turn comes, a four, no flush comes in. She bets now 60K into the 72K pot. And I'm like, yo, this fucking, I just, just in case she's continuing to blast, just in case, you know, the straight draw she has, you know, just in case it's like pair plus straight draw type of hand, we decide to call again this big bet. So now we're already in this for fucking 90. First hand we lose 26K, now we're in this for 90 already. The river brings in the front door flush draw. She bets, we fold. So just in two hands we lost half our stack. We now have 125K at 2K big blind. Now, we're in the big blind. Folds to Nacho Barbero, fellow ACR team pro. He raises to 5K. We look down at ace king off suit, off our 62 bigs. We go ahead and three bet to 21K. He four bets to 45K. We go all in, he snap calls. We think we're dead, go to the footage. In three hands we're flipping against Nacho. We have ace-king, he has ace-queen. <laughs> well, you know, spiritually, all right. My heart rate's probably like one fucking 80. Probably on death's doorstep. We survive against his ace-queen. He said, oh, I thought you were tilted. And then we're back at starting stack a little above. And we win another little pot, and now we're settling in. First break, early, we have like 280K. Big blind's only like 3K, a long way to go, or maybe it's 2,500, super deep structure. But it was crazy, the first three hands to be all in, in, in that fast, it was insane. Right, so we're on dinner break, under the gun raise, we had queen two of hearts, up came queen six five, rainbow one heart, check, bet, we call, turn as a queen, so we have trips, we check, bet's pretty big again, we call, rivers another five, we check, he checks back, we just win. So we're up to like 400K now, we have like 50 bigs at this point, the blinds are 3K, 6K with a 6K big blind nanny. Under the gun plus one open, some German good player. And we have ace 10 off in the small blind, and I don't know even if this is good, but we flat. It felt like too good of a hand to fold with such a little action behind us, I don't know. Which we're heads up to a flat, becomes ace nine four with two diamonds. We have the ace of diamonds. So we have a good top pair with a nut backdoor flush draw. We check and the dude bets like 30K into a pot of like 35K. Like he bets really big, he blasts it. I'm like, okay, I guess I just fucking call. Turn comes a, another wheel card. We check, he bets 125K into the pot that's like 110K. Like he just fucking blasts again. Feel I have to call, I definitely do, I reckon. We call, the river comes 10 of diamonds. So the front door flush gets in there. We have the ace of diamonds, we block the nut flush. We river two pair. On the turn, I should say, I actually debated jamming for a little bit, which I think would have been a punt. In the river, I debate donk jamming for value, as I would with my flushes, just because he's gonna check back so much on the river with all his shit. And I debate jamming to just get value from two pair and stuff, but I decided to check, and he checks back, and then we think we may win expecting to win, he has his fucking set of nines. So he kind of wrecked us, but we're still in there. We have a little less than starting stack, but we have 27 bigs, 40 minute levels. This is it, it comes down to this, you know? We gotta run good. That's the plan, man. Get it in bad and suck out. That's always been the plan from day one of the vlog, and I need to remember that. Who knows, you know, maybe we spin. This isn't the one we'd win, we win a different one, but you know, one of those. All right, here's the stack. Here's Long Car sending us photos, thank you. Let's go. Here we go. We had uh, ace 10 off on the button with 12 bigs against a, a raise and two callers. When we jam, ace 10 off, it goes fold, re-jam, long car folds, 
We're up against pocket eights. Jason Kuhn's like, yo, 10 is coming on the river. Flop was all hearts with an eight. So we flopped a set and we had no hope basically. Then we got turned dead and that's it for our Triton. It was crazy. I'm overwhelmed, my adrenaline's high. It was obviously fun, obviously sick as fuck and a dream to be able to play in any of these. Pretty disappointed, happy that I prepped like I did. And now I have like three fucking days in, in Europe with, with Katie. Well, we're back home in the city clearly. And you know, what did we learn? I don't know. This is Katie running through the rain in Avignon, France. Here's Katie in lovely ax. And let me ask you a question. How does it feel to be back? Ask me a question. We met him in the club a couple days ago, but it was like kind of weird and I felt like he was kind of annoyed. But then um, we just got back from France and we just got off the bus and it's rainy and we're cranky and we're walking to the ele elevator and guess who gets on with us? Still Ivy. It was the greatest 5 floor elevator ride of our life. I was actually nervous. And then he revealed something personable, personal about his life, which I'm not gonna share because- Make the booty bounce on the dance floor. <laughs> Now he doesn't deserve any applause. He called with King Jack.